wasn't kidding, you know. If we don't play ball, then he's going to go to the police. He's going to tell him everything. He's... he's full of it. Come and have your breakfast. No, I'm not hungry. All right, suit yourself. How can you just stand there calmly buttering toast? It's going to be a bit dry without it, isn't it? You know, when I think of what I had to go through to buy that place, all that hard graft I put in. Yeah, and your reward's going to drop through that letterbox today, I swear. Have you not heard a word I have said? If I don't cough up the insurance money to Paul, then we all go to prison. Exactly. We all go to prison. Him included. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. He's not thinking straight, is he? He's in love with me, wasn't he? I've hurt him. Listen, don't get me wrong, babe. You know, I'd be absolutely cut up if you'd done me. I really would. But if it was a choice between getting over it and slopping out in strange ways, well, I know what I'd choose. Um, we thought we might make a few alterations, if that's all right. I'm sure, I have slow. You do what you like. Well, no, no, without consulting you. What would you say to a new kitchen? Not much. I mean, kitchens have never been on speaking terms. More than our various departments. Worse luck. Wait. You never got your talents from your grandma, I tell you. <laughs> she did like her food well done, eh? <laughs> well done. I broke teeth on Vera's fry-ups. Try and put brown sauce on it. It was that terrified it wouldn't come out of the bottle. <laughs> <laughs> Still. <laughs> right, uh, I'm, I'm going to sort my pigeons out now. Honestly, Louie, I'm not fussed. Whatever you want to do is all right with me. Yeah, me neither. Oh, that's a relief. In fact, I might be out with your hair altogether. Oh, yeah? Yes. Spoke to the insurer. Looks like I'm getting more than I thought. I'll have enough to pay you off and a bit left over to put a deposit down on a new place. Well, that is fantastic. Why didn't you say something before? Well, I wanted to make sure, you know, till the cheque was cashed. But some news is too good to lie on, isn't it? Yeah. I think I'll wait until the cheque's in your hand. Hey, it's all right, big man. You won't be waiting long. Drinks are on me later. <laughs> oh, I'm a failure, cos I haven't got a brain. Oh, Kirk, don't be so daft. You're not a failure. I know. All right, but you just said. He was acting. Was he? Chez has got an audition for his school play, so I was showing him what I'd done in mine. The Scarecrow in The Wizard of Oz. Oh, right. I thought you were doing my side story. We are. But an audition's an audition. How'd you get the part, mate? I don't know, really. Everyone else had to do an audition, like Dorothy and the Tin Man and that. But not me. They just give me the part straight off. I better get going. Oh. <laughs> Break a leg! Don't say that. You can't play Romeo Gallagher in plaster. He has to do a dance and everything. No, Kirk, I didn't... I didn't mean literally. I... Oh, I haven't got time. I'll see you later. Hold on. Uh, are you going to be in the Rovers tonight? Uh, yeah, I should think so. Why? I was thinking of going in for a drink with Julie. Really? Yeah, but only if it's OK. I won't want to make you uncomfortable. No, it's fine. Can't wait to meet the lucky girl. Brilliant. I'll see you tonight, then. See ya. <laughs> Tonight. Why wouldn't we? Are you feeling sick or something? No, but I will be. Her cooking's not that bad. No, it's not a cooking I'm worried about. She'll be sat there, all perfect hostess, done up Friends, to the night. She won't look half as gorgeous as you. She won't look half as big, more like. Liam, I have to stare into a mirror for a living. I'm fat. You're having a baby? If you look like Kate Flaming Moss, I'd be worried. All right, so you do agree I am fat? No. Look, if I thought you were so gross, do you really think we would have spent last night, you know? Mm, that's just force of habit. There's no way you could find me attractive. Call me a fatty. Mm. If you're really that bothered about your appearance, I'll sort it. No worries. I don't like the sound of that. What are you... Ah, ah, ah. Ask me no questions. Hear no lies. Could be worse. I've been worried, not seeing you around much, so it might be a bit down. Yeah, well, it's not been easy, but I'm fine now. The insurers are paying out, and you never know. Might even be able to take you on again. Really? Oh, hello there, Paulie. Well, God, is that everything? Come on, let me take it to the counter for you. Oh, don't worry about it, mate. No, I insist, dude. It's all part of the service. Come on, 79 pence. Let's go. 
I'll be over in a minute, pal. Oh, well, she hasn't got time to stop and chat, mate. She's working. Dad! Oh, busy, busy, busy. I just wanted to say how much I appreciated you standing by me throughout all this fire investigation. I mean, maybe I could stand you a meal or something. Say thanks properly, eh? Oh, that's really sweet, but not necessary. No. Nope. That'd be brilliant. <laughs> thanks. <laughs> Hey, come on, get a shift on. They're in the traps. Oh, I can't be doing my dog racing, mate. Why not? Too skinny. I want my money on something a bit more substantial. Something with a bit of meat on it. Well, you don't have to eat one, you know. That, that is a, a race car, not a menu. I know, but... Look at those poncy little jackets they wear. I mean, you can't take them seriously. Yeah, well, I like greyhounds, me. But it's the air that I really identify with. Oh, I. Well, life in the fast lane. <laughs> the hot breath of the pack on the back of your neck, but always staying one step ahead. Until the end. Hey. Well, when it's finished, the dogs catch up with the hair and give it a right good kicking. Really? Come on! I need to back to the flat. I knew you'd be desperate to plant a smacker on that check. Thanks. Don't worry. I'm not expecting a percentage. Dinner time drinking rolls will do. Oh, no, sorry, Jan. I can't avoid every break. What's up? Thought you'd be doing cartwheels. It's complicated. Mixed feelings, you know. I'll tell you what, if I had a check size of that, the only thing I'd be mixing would be vodka and cork. <laughs> See you later. What a dog! What a dog! Get out of it, you. You know I'll paint him yourself. It's never easy. But the first visit is always the most difficult, and at least you've got that out of the way now. I don't think I'll ever get used to seeing him in there. Or feeling sick when I have to get up and walk away. Well, I'd be lying if I said that changes. From the minute they're born, we spend all our time trying to keep our kids out of harm's way. It's a tough habit to break. It's the thought that he's coming out soon that keeps me go... I'm sorry. I don't know how you cope. Neither do I sometimes. I've got no choice. But at least David can put this behind him. Make a fresh start with his best years to come. Well, that's what I'm praying for. You know, I'm not, uh, I'm not comparing the two of them for a minute, but I sometimes wonder if Tracy had had a shock like this when she was younger, maybe things would have been different. Maybe. I keep telling myself that this is good for David, that it's the wake-up call he needs. But it doesn't stop me worrying. I'm so scared of what might happen to him. Let it out, love. No. I'm going to pull myself together. I'm no use to him otherwise. There's no shame in crying for yourself, you know. I know I do. Give me my mum. Thanks for coming. Oh, it's no bother. And listen, if you need to talk, you know where I am. Thank you. There you go, Ben. Well done, mate. Thank you. <laughs> oh, just smell that. That is the sweet smell of success. Oh, that's a relief. I thought I'd stood in something. Yeah, you may mock. No, I'm happy for you, mate. I'm happy for you. Well, like I said, the dogs. Hardly the sport of kings, mate, is it? Now, you see, you need some real mouse to make a killing on the GGs. Yeah, give that here. Have you never heard of quit while you're ahead? Give over, man. Listen, I'm on a winning streak. Horse or round, I can't lose. Race five. Crazy bongos. Man, it's, it's, it's a sign. I know plenty of signs, you know. And one of them tells you what that horse is. Oh, yeah, what, the old tic-tac? No, not exactly. It's 50 to 1, Vern. 50 to 1? Oh, man, if I put the old bundle on, that's... Uh, that is serious wedge. Man. It's your funeral, mate. Oh, yeah, I, I, I when did a bookie try to stop a punter losing money? Hey! 
Man's got a point. No help in some people, is there? What do they say about fools and the money? Well, I've no room to talk, have I? This should have been a fresh start. I should have treated Paul better. Hey, don't go shedding any tears for him. He fleeced his own grandparents. He's not going to cut his own throat by going to the coppers. He's bluffing. You just don't get it, do you? Paul has lost everything. And that makes him dangerous. <laughs> All right, mate. I should have said Romeo. No, you shouldn't. I oh, never mind, mate. Fleming Kenzie Jug got it. He can't even act. It's just because he's good looking. Well, so are you. Yeah, right. I can't believe I've got to stand there in rehearsals, watching him ruin everything. You are in it then? Yeah, I'm in it. So why the face? You still get to strut your stuff. Maybe snog somebody, eh? From Father Lawrence. The local priest. Oh, so no snogging? No snogging. Basically, I spend the whole play cocking things up and looking miserable. Please don't have to do much action. Hey, Mr. You busy? No, oh, yeah, rushed off my feet. Oh, I'll pop that later then. No, wait, I was only joking. Oh. Come in, I could do with the company. Actually, I was wanting an air cut. I tell you when your hair needs cutting. Normally I have to pin you down and show you like a sheet. Yeah, sit over there. Yeah, well, I thought I needed a trim. And I think it's important a man should look good. Hey, does his chair spin round? Kurt, Kurt, <laughs> you're not still anchoring after Fizz, are you? Fizz? Nah, I've got a girlfriend. You do know that shocks are not good for this baby? Sorry, sorry. Can't turn me back on you for five minutes, can I? When did all this happen? On holiday. She's called Julie. Only lives 20 minutes away. She's lovely. Oh, so when can I meet her? Tonight. She's going to be in a Rovers. Oh, sorry, I can't do tonight. I'm going out to Carla's for dinner. I won't mind, but I don't even want to go. I'll soon change that. I've got you a present. Carla will be green with envy. Ta-da! Got it in a charity shop. It'll cut a dash without cutting into you. It's... Stylish yet roomy, I thought. Well, it's roomy, all right. Should come with pegs and a ground sheet. I've got a baby in here, you know, not Jerry Morton. So you don't like it? Well, Liam, it's dead thoughtful, but... <clears throat> oh, you're such a... I can't believe you thought I was serious. Yeah. Will that do? Yeah, it's gorgeous. Thank you. You're welcome. Oh. It's not even in shot. It's not even in the same postcode. Grass is growing faster than that horse is moving. No, 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 no. It's just he's saving himself up for a late burst. A late burst. It couldn't win now, even with a jet engine up its jacksy. Must be lame. It's not the only one. Well. At least it only cost you a tenner. I've just lost a ton! Crazy bongos. Must have been crazy to listen to you. Well, I hate to say I told you so, boys. Well, don't. You can keep stum about this to Liz, cos cos if she finds out, she'll go ballistic. What's she gonna do? Snap your drumsticks? No, but she'll find the new home for them. So she paid in? Yeah. Yeah, and that's where it's stopping. Well, you've changed your tune. Yeah, well, I was thinking about it on the bus. I worked really hard in that restaurant. I deserve all that money. There's no way I'm letting Paul get his hands on all of it. What about his threats? Well, like you said, I'm flattering myself to think he'd do something stupid over me. Well, I didn't exactly put it like that, did I? Yeah, well, it's true, though, isn't it? If he keeps quiet, then he gets his share of the cash and we're all happy. I mean, nobody in their right mind would deliberately chuck away the freedom. Well, excuse me. Give a girl a bit of elbow room. Uh, Regular, are you? Right, well, you may, yeah, for my sins, yeah. Oh, you must have been a naughty boy. First time I've set foot in the place myself. Well, I would have remembered you, right? Hey, easy, tiger. 
I'm spoken for. Yeah, well, I suppose it gets a word in it, right? There's relationships into my husband. I'm divorced, thankfully. Yeah. The day they lay that swine to rest, I'll be strapping on my dancing shoes. Yeah, really. How long have you been divorced? I just know it was... Um... Oh, I know the signs. I've been on the divorced and separated circuit too long. Listen, these uh, signs, then. Um... One eye down my top, two shirt buttons too low, three splashes of aftershave yeah, too. No, OK, it's cologne, right? It's eau de cologne. Oh, dear. More like. No woman wants to snog an air freshener. No oh, fella should reek of masculinity. Like my boyfriend. He'll be here in a minute. Yeah, well, I'm sure we'll smell him coming, right? Oh, he's everything my husband. Ex-husband isn't. <laughs> Proper thoughtful. Not just kind, but deep and all. Sometimes we'll be out and he'll be dead quiet, just staring off into space for ages, lost in his own thoughts. Sounds like a barrel of laughs. Oh, he is. Oh, he's got a really dry sense of humour. Totally deadpan. Honestly, some of the stuff he comes out with, you know, if you didn't know he was joking. <laughs> oh, here he is now. Hello, sausage. All right, snuggle bum. <laughs> is this Julie? Is this your deep boyfriend? Yeah. yeah. Have you decided what courses you're going to do? I don't know. Maybe advanced burglary? Or aggravated assault? It's not like there's a shortage of teachers in here, is there? David. Oh, there must be some decent lads you could talk to. Yeah, I'd rather just keep myself to myself, Granite. It's not the type of place I want to be making friends in, you know. Daryl's got a new job. Yeah? Working in the kebab shop. I know. Don't ask. <laughs> Maria sends her love. You missed in the salon? But a lot of customers are asking after you. I think they miss your coffee. <laughs> so do I, actually. I mean, the stuff in here tastes like pond water. Well, it's not so bad. Bill says hello. Does he? Mm. Well, that's more than what he does at home. <laughs> Time's up. If you want to start saying your goodbyes. What, already? Grant, what I've just said, you know, about Bill, I'm sorry, I didn't mean it. Oh, look, it doesn't matter, love. There's no need to apologise. Yeah, there is. To both of you. You know, you don't deserve this. You shouldn't be here. David. Mum, please. You know, most of these lads, they didn't stand a chance. They had nothing. But me. Well, I never wanted for anything. Well, you've not had an easy time of it, far from it. You've been through things most people never... Yeah, I know, and so have you. The whole family. None of them was to blame, Mum, at least of all you. I wish I could believe that. Yeah, well, believe it. The stuff I've done, Mum, that's unforgivable. It really is time. Oh. Well, see you soon, my lad. Huh? <laughs> Yeah, my darling. Thanks, Graham. I forgive you. So where did you meet exactly? In a bar. I've been batting off lounge lizards all night. No offence. Well, none taken. Anyway, I wanted to read the cocktail menu and I couldn't find my glasses. And I was getting well stressed, turning the place upside down, and then Kirk tells me that... On her head. <laughs> it was dead funny. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I was really embarrassed, but very grateful. I bet. Anyway, I stood him a drink to say thanks. Did you put your glass somewhere now? No, why? I'm just wondering. Anyway, we got talking. I told him all about myself. He's a very good listener. But it'd have to be. We click straight off. And here we are. Touch wood. This is one holiday romance that might outlast the suntan. Mm. Doesn't say much with Kirk, mind. Wouldn't tan at gas mark eight. <laughs> no, but I'm dead pleased with both of you. Got yourself a good catch. I know. He single-handedly restored my faith in the male sex. Come on, sweetheart. <laughs> I'm not uh, the rough old life, that's all I can say. Yeah. Leave this to me, right? 
You all right? Never better. I've come to collect my winnings. In full. Well, that's not going to happen and you know it. <laughs> you know what will happen if it doesn't. You're not fooling anyone, you Will know? you be quiet? This is between me and Paul. <sighs> I wish it was. I could never have come to this, Liam. We could have... No, we couldn't. You think you love me, but you don't. You don't even know me. I know enough. To run a mile, yeah. To realise that you can do better. So give it up. Pocket your share of the cash. Forget me. Forget the restaurant. That any of this ever happened. Move on. Right. By my reckoning, you're owed half... More than the insurance money could cover, but it'll do for now, so I will take it all, please. Paul, why can't you see that this is the best outcome you could hope for? Don't tell me what's in my best interests. We've been there before. I'm not that stupid. No, but you're stupid enough to turn yourself in, aren't you? For a crime that's going to get you a five-year stretch? I don't think so. Don't push me. I want me money. I want me money. What are you going to do? Cry? Dan, please. I struck my neck out for you. It's the least I deserve now. This is your last <laughs> chance. Or I will make that phone call. Right, go on then. Be my guest. There's the phone. Use that one if you want. No, because your bluff's been well and truly called, isn't it? You're not phoning anybody. Just take your cut and go, because Leanne doesn't love you. She never has. Live with it. Don't say I didn't warn you. Leanne! Paul. He hasn't got the bottle. He's bluffing! Will you shut it? Paul! Come on! Stop this! You don't want to go inside, do you? Come on! You, you can walk away from this with a lot of money. Paul, this doesn't make any sense! Oh, it does from where I'm standing. Yeah, police, please. Oh, congratulations. You're an even bigger fool than I thought. Paul, please don't do this. I am begging you. I'd like to confess to a recent arson attack in Weatherfield. And Coronation Street continues in half an hour. It's probably the speaking clock. Number nine, Coronation Street. There's two other people involved as well. I can't believe this. I haven't got time for this. I'll come in straight away. Yeah, yeah, I'll come in now. Oh, come on. Let's get you beautiful. <laughs> Good luck with that. Size of me at the moment, though. You're blooming, you. Blooming massive, yeah? <laughs> and I'm blooming marvellous. Oh. <laughs> Hello, girl. Uh, yeah. Now, have you phoned him? Who? Oh, come on, lady, <clears throat> don't play the innocent with me. Ted. Rita, I haven't got time. No time like the present. <sighs> Look, I've got to do Maria's hair. She's going out tonight. Hey, don't be blaming me. Come on, just give him a call. How do you tell an old boyfriend, come on, that he's got a 50-year-old daughter that he didn't know he had? I'll check. Maybe Hallmark will do a card. Audrey, no one's saying you have to tell him. Or see him even, but aren't you just a little bit curious what he wants? Oh, for heaven's sake, if it'll shut the two of you up. Honestly. Ugh. Anyway, listen. What would I say? Hello, it's Audrey. Oh. Oh, no, I know. Maybe I'll say... Oh... It's on his voicemail. Whew. Oh, hi, Ted. It's Audrey. Audrey Roberts. Well, Audrey Potter, that was. <laughs> yeah, I got your call. Um, so I'm just returning it, actually. <laughs> well, obviously. <laughs> um, well, I hope you're well after all this time. And... Um, Perhaps you'll give me a call back. OK. Bye. Smooth. <sighs> Look, not a word to our girl. Honestly, either of you. Aww. <laughs> oh, <laughs> <glad that's laughs> Kirk says that you used to work together. At the kennels, yeah, that's where we met. Not a huge dog fan, me. Oh, you love us, Mike. Mm. that friendly. He's more a small pony than a dog. Lovely nature, though, Great Danes. Mm, I don't know. I don't mind little ones, but something that size. Well, I used to be scared of big dogs. I got bit by a chihuahua when I was four. Chihuahua's not a big dog. It is to a four-year-old. <laughs> oh, he's a screaming tip. Oh. 
I'm assuming you haven't told the missus yet that you lost your shirt on the GGs. Check it from a master, Grasshopper. The art of attraction is distraction. Oh, aye. Did you eat the fortune cookie after you read that? Question. Who is the greatest husband in the world? Gives a clue. How do you fancy a trip around the Med? Three weeks. First class cabin. Cocktails on deck. We can't afford that. Yeah. Here comes the good part. Not only is it free, I'm going to be earning an all. Vince and Don need a drummer for that cruise of theirs, and I've only got to wangle the ticket for my delectable missus. Right, but I can't leave this place for three weeks. We're dead short-handed as it is. No, Michelle's coming back. Uh, Sean and all. Steve and Betty can look out of this lane, yeah? Now, just give us a sec, yeah? I'm going to download the details, and you are going to love this. Another pint, Jess? Yeah, please, Liz. <laughs> Guess who? Uh, judging by the hands, Bill. Hey, you! Cheeky! Good job, I'm in a good mood. How come? It's Friday, innit? I've got the whole weekend ahead of me. Oh, well, there's nothing wrong with your timing, is there? So what can I get you, Bex? Ooh, weekend's here. Something wild, surprise me. What pint do? Cider? Perfect. Wild night, eh? What have you got planned? Stick around and find out. Sexy. <laughs> Thanks for this, Audrey. Oh, any time. <laughs> you know that. Come on. Enjoy, enjoy. See you later. All right, my darling. Oh. Hello. Oh, Ted. Yeah, hi. Well, I'm still in shock, truth be told. <laughs> yes, I suppose we have, yeah. Monday, this Monday. Well, uh, yes, why not? Let's live dangerously. <laughs> yeah. Half one would be fine, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Oh, I can't take this anymore. I'm going to have to go and see if he's home. Well, that's exactly what he wants, isn't it? You know, he winds you up, you come running. Yeah, well, let's hope you're right, eh? Paul! It's done. What do you mean it's done? Made me statement, fessed up, spilled me guts, and don't worry, I didn't leave you and Dan out. What, you mean you're willing to go to prison just to get back at me? Not a lot to lose, ever. Get lost. My pleasure. But not falling for it, you know. Just save it for the coppers. They'll be here to see you soon enough, and eh? Hey, have a good weekend now. <laughs> yeah, what's shuffleboard when it's at home? I don't know, but so we can play any time we like. Hey, it says here all the performers go first class and you get loads of boss food and that. Yep. Oh, you jammy bear! I don't know, because I've heard that people come back stones heavier from stuff like this. No, look, check out the seafood shack, right? There'll be oysters, there'll be great big prawns. I mean, that is healthy stuff, love. Still, three weeks. Well, if she don't want to go, I'll bite your hand off, Vern. So he says, they're on me. On a red? It's more fun, isn't it? <laughs> well, come on, son. Buy your bite. Thought he was getting the beers in after his big windfall. You're all right, Grandad. Look, I need a word. Oh, I. I... In private? He's not wrong, is he? You two and Al, if you don't mind, if we could just pop home. It won't take long. Hey, yeah, uh, how about you and me going to town? And do what? Anything we like. <laughs> You're mad, you are. See ya. That's right. See ya. So, come on. What have you gone and done now? But please, I can just pop back a sec. You are beginning to worry me, lad. time her and Dan were just... Look, what's all this about? No, no, hang on, Ty, hang on. Look, son, whatever it is you can tell me... It was me. I burnt down the restaurant. What? On purpose? Yeah. And does Leanne know? That's 
what I'm trying to tell you. The restaurant was struggling. She convinced me that it was the only way we could get out, but her and Dan had, had it all planned. Oh, what, and you just went along with them? People could have been hurt, killed? No, no, no I made sure no all one was right. in All right, enough. Ty, take Molly to the Rovers, please. Are you sure? Go on. Who else knows about this? Just Leanne and Dan. Oh, they'll keep quiet for sure, won't they? Yeah, but... I just want to put a finish to all this. I've been to the cops. What? I've confessed. I I've told them everything. Why the hell did you do that? Because I couldn't let them get away with it, could I? Dan and Leanne, they were, they were laughing at me. They played me for a sucker. Right, so you burnt the restaurant down and then you marked into the cop shop and held your hands up. Have I got that about right, Sarah? She led me on for months, Grandad. At least now I I've come clean, eh? I did the right thing in the end. Don't give me that! You confessing had nothing to do with the truth. It was all to do with getting your own back on some little bird that had you wrapped around a little finger. Have I got that right? She ah. used me! Do you know, the only thing I can think of at the moment is that I am so glad your gran wasn't here to see this. Because you have done nothing but lie and cheat and let us down. You're a disgrace. I don't know how angry you must be. Angry? Angry I can handle. But this. You are your father's son, all right. No, don't, don't say that, please. Get out! I can't even look at you. Get out! Oh, fee. He was so proud of him. Right, you lot, you're not coming here while I'm cooking. Dinner was supposed to be a surprise. I'll be that all right if she's cooking. I heard that. Well, thanks for having us. It's lovely of you. What time is your flight? At one in the morning, so I'm hoping if I have a few drinks, I should sleep all the way. Mm. Right, Maria, do you want mineral water or can I tap you into a glass of bubbly? Oh, I best stick to mineral water, Ty. Yeah, me not. You! Mineral water. Mm. Very commendable. William, have a beer if you want. I'll stick to water. No, he'll have a beer, Carla. Can't stand the thought of him watching you two drinking. We drill down his chin. All right, all right, if you absolutely insist. You must be waiting for this baby to arrive so that you can have a proper drink, I expect. Huh? Well, it's not been that bad, really. I've got used to it. And also, I probably won't be able to drink for the first six months either, really, will I? Oh, are you going to breastfeed then? No, I'll stick with a beta. Oh. <laughs> right, let's have a little toe, shall we? To the latest little Connor. I can't wait to meet him. Or her. <laughs> the next little Connor. 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 Mm -hmm. OK, so let's say Paul went to the cops like he said he would. Look, right. He had a thing for you, OK? You started seeing me. Jealous rage ending with him starting the fire. Would you think they'll go for that? Well, you were with me that night, right? What alibi's he got? It's his word against ours. <sighs> You make it sound so simple. Well, let's hope it is, eh? That was lovely, wasn't it, guys? Mmm. Thanks, Carla. Any more for seconds? Oh, not for me, I'm fine, thanks. Yeah, me too. No, no, I'm still working on um, what I've got stuck to the roof of my mouth. Oi! I won that bad, was it? No, of course not. Well, good, because I've never made lasagna before. Lasagna? I thought it was shepherd's pie. If you'll allow me to get this out. Oh, bring it on, son. Might take the taste away. Mm. Actually, I... Listen, this has been lovely, but I think I'm going to make a move. Oh. I'm just knackered, that's all. You stay, babe. Don't be daft. Hey, I've got posh cheese and everything you can't get yet. Well, look, you stay. I'm only going to crash out. I'll take the car and you can get a cab home, eh? 
Are you sure? Yeah, it's fine, honest. Well, I'll make sure he gets in a cab, won't we, love? It's fine. I'll get my airport car to drop you. I'll get your coat. Are you sure? Yeah, of course. I don't want to spoil the party when Carla's gone to all this trouble. Just um, go easy on that whiskey, eh? Don't want you rolling in at three in the morning singing your Irish folk songs. <laughs> Come on, I'll wait you down. And uh, I won't be a sec. Get that malt poured, eh? Mm. Thanks again, you two. See you later. <sighs> Babe, you're gonna love it. We're cruising the med. Me and you together, 24-7. It's dead romantic. All right, Pugwash. <laughs> uh, just get that barrel changed, will you? We are still landbound. <laughs> oh, yeah, I can. I want him out. Hold on a minute. First he remortgages Jack and Vera's house, and then he burns down his own restaurant. You want a guy like that living with us? Could be capable of anything. Let's just think about what this is going to do to Jack, eh? On top of Vera, this is going to pop and knock the wind out of him. Yeah. God, what have Jack and Vera done to deserve scum like that as a grandson? So you don't want to go bar hopping, you don't want to go clubbing, and you don't want to go for pizza. I mean, what do you want to do, eh? Got a much better idea. <clears throat> I know this great little venue. It's dead private. Even let you bring your own booze. It's called Your Place. Ah, oh, take out. Defo. <laughs> Where the hell's my car? This is ridiculous. I've got a plane to catch. See, like this all the time. Oh, I. It's like living with Donald Trump. Are you drunk? <sighs> Not quite. I remember when you and Paul used to drink a bottle of this without blinking. What's happened to you? Uh, you try sipping orange juice for a week, see what a decent whiskey does to you. <laughs> right. Cars here. I'm going to cancel that account. Cabs would be much more reliable. Any chance I left home? I'm sorry, mate. I'm late as it is. It's all right. I'll run street cabs. Right, you. Behave yourself. How much trouble can I get up to in China? Someone has not seen Kill Bill. I'm going to miss you. You could have come with me. What, and leave Oliver Reed in charge? Oi! You take care, Donna. OK. Mm. I'll see ya. See you later, Charlie. Have a rickshaw ride on me. Yeah, will do. Bye. In your arms! Oh, hello. Damn, boy. Hey, I didn't think you were the shy type, eh? Yeah. Come on, yeah. shall I crack open these, eh? Mm. You coming? Look, um. I'm not doing the old hard to get thing, I'm really not, but we've been here before, haven't we? Yeah, and I thought you had a good time. Yeah, I did, yeah. But next day you'd gone off to Milan and I felt like a right plank. Yeah, and I still remember you whacking me one. I ain't going through that again. Becky, things are different now. Now? Well, I don't know, you know, I was on the rebound at the time, wasn't I? Huh, cheers. Becky, I'm trying to be honest with you. Right, well, I'll be honest then. I like you, but I can't believe I'm saying this, but um, how about we take things slow this time, yeah? Let me just, let me have a little think about things a bit first, yeah? Yeah, of course, whatever. Uh, you're all disappointed now, aren't you? No, nah, you know, more bits for me, eh? Uh, think again, me bucko. <laughs> I'll be having them. Right, I thought about it. Get them off, handsome. Mm. <laughs> Jack? Where's Paul? Don't know. Don't care. I met you a brew, eh? I'm fine, love. It's no trouble, I'm having one. Molly, Molly, love. I know you mean well, but... 
just why don't why don't you two go upstairs, go up, okay, and just just leave me here. I'm I'm fine. I'm just having a, a little think. Go on, go on. Well, if you're sure. Right then. He went and told the police before he come and told us. I admitted everything. Go down for a long time. You see, I suppose I hoped I could find what we did wrong with our Terry and do it different with Paul. Jack. Oh, fool me, eh? Mm. Elvira's gone and now this. <laughs> <laughs> These are supposed to be my golden years. I hear that whiskey going back in. Aye, get a glass, aye. Get two. Aye. Look, it's our word against his, yeah? And we can make sure him remortgaging Jack's house comes out and all, because that is fraud. Anything like that goes against him. Just hope you're right. We've just got to keep our cool, all right? Just stick together, stick to our story, and everything will be fine. Sound like a plan? I can't live like this anymore, Dan. I swore that what I was doing before that would change. You know, go legit. That's what the restaurant was all about. And now look at me, I'm just back to square one all over again. All right, all right, calm down. I'm here now. Like I said... We stick together, we can get Paul to take the rap for all of this, yeah? <laughs> How can you eat sushi at the airport after that lovely meal I made? Yeah. Oh, yeah, he's flaked out on the sofa. Actually, that'll be his cab now. I better go and pour him into it. Yeah, you too. All right, well, call me, won't you? Just to let me know you got there safe, all right? Look, I better go. Cab driver's getting antsy. All right, I love you too. Safe flight. Bye bye. Yeah, sorry. Ah, Carla, Lloyd, pick up Liam. Yeah, actually, I'm sorry, Lloyd. Can I cancel? Oh, cheers. Well, I'll drop the fare off tomorrow. No worries. <laughs> Coming up on ITV One. I've met your type before. All fur coat and no knickers. And I've met your type before. I used to work in a nut house. Wendy Richards guest stars in Benny Dorm. Over on ITV Two, one more contestant has to leave the competition. It's the results in American Idol 2008. <laughs>